Today we're going to take a look at the newly updated clone brush tool inside the Perfect Photo Suite 7.5. Now I'm going to be using just one of my regular vacation pictures just to show you how easy it is to take any photo from whether it's a vacation or professional photo shoot and utilize our tools seamlessly with Lightroom, Aperture, Photoshop, or even as a standalone. The nice thing is you can take that photo, just go up to File, go down to Plugin, Extras, and launch the perfect photo suite. Now this is an image that I took uh, at Giants Causeway uh, in Northern Ireland. And I love this photo, but what I want to do is I want to get rid of that person there in the background that I didn't quite get out of the shot. And I don't want to crop down in my image at all and lose any of the original photo. So I would rather simply go in, use perfect layers, and the new clone brush tool that we've updated to remove that person. I'm just going to make a copy of the layer, just so you can see the before and after when I'm done. And all we'll do is zoom in on this person in the background. Now I want to get rid of this person, so I use our new clone brush. All I have to do is click on the retouch brush, and when I have the retouch brush enabled, I also have the ability to use it as a clone brush. So make sure the box is checked if you want to utilize it as a clone brush. Now all you have to do is hold down the option key. The option key is going to allow you to target an area that you want to clone. So anytime I'm cloning, I strongly recommend getting close to the item or object that you're going to be cloning out and sample. So I hold down the option key and now I click. Now you'll notice my clone brush is now going to replicate what I just sampled anywhere I paint. So I can make my brush a little bit bigger and just simply paint now over that person. Now as I move on, you'll see it begins to replicate that person because of where my target is. So in this case, I just hold down my option key again. I can click and target and begin painting over that as well. All right, so in a real short amount of time, I've been able to go in and remove that person from the background so they're not a distraction to my image. There it is before, and there it is after. Simply using the new clone brush tool inside the Perfect Photo Suite 7.5.